So we're really excited about this. Um, and I want to pray for that today. I want to encourage all of you, whether or not you're involved, to be praying. Um, because this is going to be a really powerful week. A lot of these leaders are so tired. I'm tired. I'm not a pastor today. But it's been a long season. And these guys have been trudging through a lot of stuff that I can't even imagine. And as I was thinking about it and praying, I was thinking, Lord, <laughs> I'm really tired. I don't know what I have to give. And the Lord brought me to um, First Kings, where Elijah had just made this great announcement, right? This drought is coming, and the Lord sent him to sit by the ravine and fed him with the ravens and the water. And then the, the brook dried up, and, and, and the Lord says, I'm going to send you to this widow. And his words were, I have directed a widow there to supply you with food. And so the Lord knew this was the woman. And he knew what state she was in. She was getting ready to make her last meal and die with her boy. But let me read it to you because I think it's good. So he went to Jeripath. When he came to the town gate, a widow was there gathering sticks. He called her and asked, Would you bring me a little drink in a jar so I may have a drink? This is Elijah. As she was going to get it, he called, And please bring me a piece of bread. As surely as the Lord your God lives, she replied, I don't have any bread, only a handful of flour in a jar and a little oil in a jug. I'm gathering a few sticks to take home and make a meal for myself and my son that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said to her, Don't be afraid. Go home and do as you have said. But first, make a small loaf of bread for me from what you have, from what you have and bring it to me. And then make it some for yourself and your son. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. The jar of oil, sorry, the jar, the jar of flour will not be used up. And the jug of oil will not run dry until the day the Lord sends rain to this land. And she did it. She did what she was told. She fed Elijah. And for the whole time, the jar of flour was not used up and the jug of oil did not run dry in keeping with the word of the Lord. And I felt like this is what the Lord was saying to us. I know that you're tired. I know this season has been really, really hard. But feed these people, these men and women of God. And I promise you, the oil will not run dry. And the flour will not go away. And there will be more than enough. I will provide for you too. And so that is what we want to pray today. Will you guys join me to pray for the pastor's conference? So, Lord, I just thank you so much that you've given us this opportunity to minister to these beautiful, wonderful men and women of God. And you know we're tired and we feel weak, but when we are weak, we are strong because of you. So, God, we just ask that you would pour out abundantly on this pastor's conference. Pour out upon your servants, Lord. Pour out pour yourself out on this house that we might continue to just love on them and have more than enough in Jesus name amen yay god so be praying this week i believe we're going to see way more than we've imagined i believe we're going to see god do beautiful things in the lives of these people, but also in us. And I think it's a new start of some really beautiful things.